since uh, my freshman spring, um, I, I've been doing a year up at the Plasma Science Infusion Center, and I've been working in accelerator-based research to um, validate a new diagnostic technique to diagnose the surface conditions of plasma-facing components in a tokamak. Fusion energy kind of promises um, perhaps like unlimited energy, so much energy that's basically unlimited. And um, so what we're trying to do is improve the diagnostic techniques used currently so we can um, see how the components are doing. Current um, techniques used to uh, diagnose surface conditions are all ex situ, so we have to take out the components and then test them. But this technique that I'm helping a grad student work on right now is in situ, so we'd be able to see how it's doing uh, while the tokamak is still in use, so we can go in there and not have to disturb anything and see how it's doing at the time it is currently. In the future, I'm not sure what I want to go into, um, like academia, industry, like research at a national lab or something like that. Um, right now, I'm trying a lot of different classes. I'm trying some um, like thermal classes, reactor design classes, just to see what I like. When I was in high school, I was often told that I couldn't, you know, I shouldn't be an engineer or I wouldn't be able to be an engineer just because I am a woman. And I don't want other girls and young women to experience that. I want to be the person that tells them you can do that. And even if everyone's not on their side, I'm on your side. I participate in a lot of science and engineering festivals um, to get like girls interested in STEM. And so once I was helping a little girl like build a mini catapult, she turned to me and she said, this is so cool. Like I was gonna ask for a robot for Christmas, but now I want to build a robot. And to me, that's just moments like that is just what makes everything worth it. Uh, the, uh, the outreach and everything, just like knowing that what I'm doing is making a difference and is impacting girls and young women.